Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my top five blushes. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. I have gotten a lot of requests to share my top favorites in each category. I've already done bronzers, so if you missed out on that video, I will link it up here in the cards so that you can watch it after this one. And I will also link every product that I mention down below in the bottom bar in case you are interested in that. These are based on the shade but also the formula obviously blushes come in tons of different shades so the formulas of all of these are outstanding and some of them I have tried multiple shades of and this is also the shade that I like the most so keep that in mind um, I'm not gonna recommend something that I just love the color but hate the formula that's not no 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 I'm also going to film over the next few days of me applying each of these so that I can put an overlay and show you guys what they all look like when they're on and I will show you swatches too. So let's talk about blush. These are in no particular order, but I am going to share the one that I'm wearing today first. That seems to make sense. And that one is from Hourglass. It is the Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Dim Infusion. I just tried this shade in my five first impressions video, which I can link that video up in the cards as well. But this shade is just gorgeous. I love how it gives me that like nice pop of pinky, corally, orangey, peachy goodness. Um, the blushes in general, I've had this formula for a long time. I've had Mood Exposure, which I think is a gorgeous everyday shade as well. I'll just show you what they look like next to each other. So these ones have the color and then also some glowy powder in here. I said that really weird. Uh, so they do have a little bit of a glow. They're not a matte blush by any sense, but the gosh, this is gonna swatch so horribly. <laughs> yeah, you can barely even see that on my skin right here, but it is just the most gorgeous shade. And what I love about this formula is you, you don't get a ton of product right off the bat. So you can build it up with ease. You aren't gonna look like a clown right away. You can just take your time building it up. Let me swatch mood exposure for you as well so that you can kind of see the difference in them. So this is mood exposure and then this one is dim infusion. They actually look semi-similar here, but mood exposure is much more mauve and it's slightly deeper. Both of them are absolutely gorgeous. Dim Infusion, I already know is gonna be like my summer shade. I've worn this every single day since I got it. This next one is going to be no surprise if you've been following me for a while, and it is the Becca Mineral Blush in the shade Songbird. This is one of my most worn blushes over the past couple of years. I just can't get enough of it. It is so freaking pretty. The first time I tried it was from this Becca palette. What palette is this? It's the Blushed with Light palette, and it comes with Snapdragon, Songbird, and Wisteria. And I mix these two quite often, but so this is the first time that I had tried Songbird in here, and I loved it so much, I bought the single one. Uh, this palette is old, and I think it was limited edition, so it's not available anymore, but this is. Um, either way, the formula of these is gorgeous. I will swatch all of these. I'm not sure if all three of these shades are available. This one I never wear, but I do think that it would be gorgeous if you have a little bit of a deeper skin tone than I have. The one thing about Becca blushes are they are very, very pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way. They do blend out beautifully though, so you don't have to worry about if you do get a little bit too much, you can still blend it out. It's not going to like ruin your makeup. But as you can see here, even from far away, you can see these way better than you can see the hourglass ones. So Wisteria, Songbird, and Snapdragon. This is the one that I don't really wear a lot. Um, but these two I really like to mix together. I don't actually know if Wisteria is available on its own. I'm assuming that it is, but I, I have no idea. Um, Songbird is like my... It's honestly been my go-to blush shade for the past few years. Almost any time I'm wearing... A blush and somebody asks me about it I feel like a broken record I'm always like Becca songbird that's what it always is I just think that it is so flattering and it works all year around it's just that nice natural flush color next is from Milani this is the powder blush in romantic rose I've tried quite a few shades of these blushes and I have actually decluttered most of them because I'm trying not to have a crazy makeup collection and this one is the one that I like the most so it comes with this really beautiful rose pattern in the blush 
and then I will swatch it for you. This is another one of those like nice blushes that you could wear every single day. It goes with everything. It's not gonna make such a huge statement that you wouldn't be able to just wear it every day. This one also is buildable. If you build it up, you will get a lot of color payoff, but it's not one that you can't blend out and it also doesn't show up super, super pigmented right away. This is also the only one in today's video that is from the drugstore, so it has a little bit of a lower price tag if that is something that you're looking for. Next is from Buxom. If you watched my bronzer video, you saw that I used the bronzer that's from the same collection. This is the Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in the shade Dolly, and the bronzer comes in the same like acrylic clear packaging and it's also primer infused but they just released the bronzer the blush has been around for a while i think i've had this for over a year now um this one doesn't come with a mirror actually the milani one doesn't come with a mirror either but the other two did if that's a make or break for you i personally don't use the mirrors in a little individual products like this anyway so i don't care and i actually like that i can see the color through the packaging this is what it looks like this comes in a few colors but not a not a ton of colors just a few other colors i'm not sure exactly how many and you're gonna see this one is very very pigmented and it has a slight sheen to it it's not completely matte but it gives you that nice healthy glow it doesn't have glitter or like specks of anything in it it's just a nice really smooth sheen so i think that it looks healthy and it doesn't accentuate texture or anything like that which i appreciate i personally like blushes that have a sheen to them as long as they don't have chunky glitter and they don't accentuate texture. If they do either of those things, then I would just prefer to have a matte blush. Anyway, this one is really pigmented, so you wanna go in with a really, really, really light hand. It does blend out, so it's not something that is crazy, but I will say that there's a little bit of a learning curve, especially if you're coming from a blush that has really little pigmentation to going to something like this. You're gonna dip in like you would a normal blush and then be like, <gasps> I totally ruined my makeup, but you did not. You can still blend it out. One of the tricks that I like to do if you are new here is I will put setting spray on my face and then blend my makeup back out with a sponge and that will kind of help it. Or you can put a translucent loose powder and dust it over it and it's almost like a makeup eraser. So if you do go a little bit crazy if you try this out, those are tips that can help you. Anyway, the formula of this is gorgeous. It's smooth, it lasts all day. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. And um, the formula I highly recommend. Again, it doesn't come in a ton of shades, but if this shade isn't your cup of tea, there are a few other ones. I think this is the most beautiful, gorgeous mauve color that works all year round. And we have made it to the last blush. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Cheek to Chic in the shade Ecstasy. This one has two shades in it, so you have that middle shade that you can wear separately or the outer shade, or you can just mix them all together. And the packaging is gorgeous, per usual, for Charlotte Tilbury. Um, it comes with a little mirror, and then obviously the product. I personally do not use these separately. I, I just feel like products like this, I, I don't have time to be like, trying to dip in around another product. If you wanna have two separate shades, then separate them in two separate pans. If it's together, I'm throwing my brush in there and using it as one shade. So that's just me personally. If you want to use them separately, be my guest. The shade is really beautiful. I, I mean, obviously. <laughs> um, I think that the formula is gorgeous. This is another formula that will just last all day on your skin. And this one you do build up. You can tell it's definitely not even like slightly as pigmented as the buxom one is you definitely have to build it up if you want like a punchy pop of color but the color is just gorgeous it's that nice peachy pink color that you guys know that i love and it has just a slight sheen it's i would say it's almost matte it's like a satin finish maybe or like eggshell if we're talking about paint colors here um, but it is stunning doesn't accentuate texture it lasts all day and it just blends into your skin so seamlessly i definitely want to try out more shades of this some of them are so pretty i have like a laundry list of blush shades that i want to try and this formula is one that i for sure want to try a couple more shades of Alrighty guys, those are my top five favorite blushes. Let me know down below what your favorite is. I would love to know. I love hearing what you guys love. Maybe I can test it out if I haven't tried it already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.